Here you are looking at a top 10 trick called rock, paper, scissors. And it goes in the order of blue, white, and red, or we get patriotic and say red, white, and blue. But just remember you have to have it set up with the scissors, beats the paper, the paper beats the rock. Now you can switch it up if you want to. Move each one down. And again, red, white, and blue. Rock beats the scissors, scissors beats the paper. But you can't just jumble it all around and expect it to work. And by it, I mean this is a magic trick. And it's pocket magic because everything's so small that I can carry it around in my pocket. It's a mentalism trick in which I'm going to turn my back and I ask that a volunteer make one movement. They can move some of these items just one time and once they switch now they ask me a question who wins out of red and blue and knowing the information that I have based on the one move and the rule that one move just reverses things then I know that normally blue would beat red but because we made one move and one move reverses things, I know that in this case, red beats blue. So now, if they were to make one more switch, I know that things will be somewhat back to normal. And now, blue would beat red. But now, let's say that I told them, okay, make two switches. And so... They make a switch, and then they call themselves making another switch, and they ask me, who wins out of red and blue this time? I know that things are back to normal, and even with my back turn or even outside the room, I can most confidently tell them that the normal order of things is that blue always beats red. What if they want to know what about white and blue? And because I know that they made two switches and that things are in their normal order, then I know that white always eats blue. It always beats blue. White always beats blue. And so there you have it. This is a top 10 overall magic trick. Not a magic card trick, but an overall top 10 magic trick.